Hey Jolly Babes, welcome back to my channel. So I am doing this awesome 60s inspired nail art which has, you know, Austin Powers, groovy baby feels, all about it. <laughs> and I just love all the neon and the bright colours that you get with this money. So I am using a MoU London stamping plate. It's part of their Time Travel Traveller collection and obviously this is all from the decade of the 60s so this did have a blue protective film on it but I've, I've taken it off obviously I might have used it in, or went to use it in another video but decided not to but there you go so I'm using these mainly chameleon glitter powders um, you know the neon powders and I am going to be using this She Modern glue gel for this for applying the pigments and the blue pigment polish is um, from Gnarly Nails as well but just in case you are a non-gel user and you want to add a pigments to normal polish you can use this which is a transfer for your glue so you would apply it to your polish as like normal once it's dried let that dry and then that simulates a tacky layer that you would get from gel polish but if you are a gel user, then this uh, product from She Modern is awesome. Um, the fact that it's a gel and you can cure it as well is really good. And it's going to help, no doubt, like, with making your money last a little bit longer. So I'm using Natasha Lee's pigment brush to apply these pigments. And what I'm going to be doing is like a radial gradient um, using these uh, pigment colours. So I'm just going to make that a little bit more rounded or as rounded as I can do anyway. So I'm going in with the next colour and again just obviously going round in around <laughs> formation. So this is a really easy way to achieve like a radial gradient which I do think looks really striking on the nail. Um, and obviously you can do that you know, do you know with like mandala images where generally you've got like a centre focal point. This is really good for those as well. So you just want to keep going round and adding the um, powders. Obviously, blow off any excess so the colours aren't sort of like muddying up together. So I'm going to obviously do this for all of the nails, but I'm going to do the colours in a different um, like colour formation, so they're not all going to look exactly the same. So now that that's all done, I'm just going to be going in with this She Modern. Um, I think it's for foil arts, but I'm using it as it's a bit of a top coat as well, just, just because it was there. So I'm using that one, but obviously you can just use a normal gel top coat. So that's all the other nails and that's how I have done them. So now it's time to add the stamping images. So I'm just going to take various images off of this plate and add that to the nails. So because the yellow is in the middle of this one, I thought I'd put this <laughs> right there in the middle just because it was super cute. And then I'm going to add some of the flower images around it also. So which decade would you have loved to have like grown up in? Um, and what I mean by that is like, you know, a proper age where you can enjoy being part of that decade. So not particularly being born into it, but you know, I don't know, say you're 18 to 25 in that a decade which would you pick i think even though i'm doing a 60s money i think i would have loved to have been in the 50s um because the fashion obviously the dresses that they used were um lovely they were really like feminine and i just i don't know whenever you watch films that are sort of set in that era it's just a bit of a nicer era to be in I know obviously there's pros and cons about living in each era for you know various reasons but yeah just let me know just drop your answer or your you know in the comments box below i do always read your comments i might not always have the time to respond to them i might just heart it but um but yeah i do always love reading your comments um that that's left on my videos 
so that's the last image now so all that's left to do is to apply your favorite um top coat obviously mine's gel and so i'll be curing that in the lamp and that is your money done so i'm going to show you in obviously this is with the glossy finish i will show you with a matte finish as well and you can decide which one that you prefer I, to be honest i think they look stunning in both but i just love this money this money is just a jelly mama money because i love the neon background I love all the images that come with it. It's just, yeah, I love anything that's super bright and girly. And if you hadn't noticed, this is it with the matte finish as well. So let me know your thoughts. So thank you so much for watching, Jelly Babes. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Um, please press subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.